Earthlings, I come to you from your future and the message I bring to you today is this. Get really clear on your dreams. Unleash your creativity. Learn to think strategically. Collaborate and innovate and unleash the leader within you. Learn to sell your ideas and be utterly, utterly captivating. And most importantly of all, never, ever give up. What would you dare to dream for your life if you knew that you couldn't fail? So what you don't know is the seat that you're sitting in today is actually a time machine. So it's this amazing time machine. And what I need you to do to activate this time machine is to lean forward slightly and grab onto the front of your seat and close your eyes. Hold on tight because I'm going to take you on the journey of your life. I'm going to take you to your future one year from today. And what a future that is! Because in that future, all of your challenges have been met. All of your obstacles have been cleared. All of your problems have been solved. And every dream and every goal that you set for yourself today has come true. How does that feel? So what I want you to do next is I want you to turn to your neighbor. And I want you to have a conversation with them. Greet them as if you haven't seen them for a whole year. And these are the kind of questions you should be asking them. First of all, say, oh my God, wow, you look amazing. What have you done in this year? What have you achieved? You just look fantastic. And then have this conversation with them. These are some clues, but ask your own questions as well. Tell me about what you've achieved. What challenges did you face? Because we know that there will be challenges. What obstacles slowed you down? What got in your way? How did you overcome them? What lessons did you learn? And what had to change for you to get where you are today? Okay, I'm gonna give you three minutes to have this conversation with your neighbor. Treat it like a conversation, backwards and forwards. Make sure both of you have a chance to speak. Okay, go. anything about your plans for the future? Would anybody like to share anything about that exercise? You tell me. Yeah, it's your future. It's up to you. So how was that? Was that good fun? Okay, so what we did there was we created a future. We created a future history. We went on our time machine. But we're back to the present now. What we're going to do is we're going to talk about visions. Now you've created your future history. You've got a really clear vision about what your life is going to be one year from now. And one of the best ways that you can actually put that vision into action is to create a vision board with all of the things that you want in your life on it. All of the ideas, all of the things, the physical things, and all of the things that you want to bring into your life. Everything that you want to have, and to be, and to give. 
Put these things on your vision board and put it in a place where you can see it all the time. You want to put it on your phone so every time you open your phone, you see your vision board. Put it above your desk so every time you sit down at your desk, it's there to remind you what is it that you really, really want for your future. Some people take a photograph of it and make it very, very small and put it in their card wallet. That's very, very powerful as well. The more you can connect yourself with your future history through your vision board, the more powerfully it will work for you. Has anybody in here created a vision board already? Fantastic. How did they work? Yeah? They're amazing things. You've got to be very careful what you put on your vision board because what you put on there is very likely going to come into your life. So take care. If you don't want a red car, don't put a red car up there. Because <laughs> sadly, you'll get a red car. <laughs> so the thing about the future, let me tell you a little story before I tell you the thing about the future. A long, long time ago in a village not very far from Dubai, there was a very wise man. And people used to come to this village from far and wide to ask the wise man questions. But one day, some boys in the village decided that they were going to take the mickey out of the old man. They were going to humiliate him. And what they did was they caught a very small bird. And their plan was they were going to ask the old man, was this bird alive or dead? And their plan was, if he said the bird's alive, they were going to crush it. And they were going to say, see, old man, you're wrong. And if he said the bird was dead, they were going to let it fly. So they waited until the old man got settled, and then they said, OK, old man, you think you're so clever. Tell us if this bird that we have in our hands is alive or dead. And the old man said, it's very simple. The answer, young man, is in your hands. So remember, you are the creator of your future. You decide what's going to happen in your future. You choose. So make sure that you make your future a magical one.